Do you ever think about things? A lot of the time, people take the time to consider things intently. Things of importance and things of no importance. Things that fly and things that make you dance. There are many questions surrounding things. Where do things take place? When do they take form? What do things mean? And what does it mean to see them? Hear them? Speak them? Think about them? And uh, say them? Places. Places are just a conglomerate of a whole bunch of things. People need to be attentive to understand how all of these things fit together in a place. Places with a lot of things in them can seem quite special. We will be exploring one of probably dozens of places, and this place is known as Pickering, which has a lot of things in it. It is a rare privilege that today we will be escorted through Pickering by a true Pickeringite. His name is Gus, and he knows a lot of things about Pickering. Hey, all right, we're here outside. Snow is shining. It's a, it's a brisk negative 14 degrees below. Uh, Gus has lived in Pickering since he was three years old and has lived here for however many years it has been between then and now. And stuff like that. So let's, you know, let's start going on this great uh, journey. So I spend a lot of time driving, right? So if you think about it, Pickering already has something really sick going, you know, going for it right off the bat. Like Canada's... Canada's biggest highway goes right through it, okay? Only lame places don't have highways that go through them. And it has Kingston Road, so, exactly. You know, people can move to Pickering. If you want to move to Pickering, they're building some new houses right there. We can be, well, I don't live next to those houses. But Gus spends close. a lot of time close driving back. through Pickering, Pickering looking at his favorite places. Gosh, bins, look, it's bins. Yes, I love bins, man. I've never been to bins, but I I, I recognize the the title because I've you know driven by it and, and stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, I completely forgot. This was my elementary school right here. Okay, I guarantee. I I guarantee. Okay, has this is my many guarantee. good memories from Highbush. And recommends it to anyone who is looking to enroll their children in public school. school. It's such a great school. Okay, it's probably one of the best schools. Um, oh, I had a great, great child. I hugged a girl for the first time at this school. Kid you not, I, it happened. Right, or right there in the, at that school. Gus has hugged many girls during his time here Man. in Pickering. I remember this one girl. I remember this one girl hugged me like it was yesterday, okay? I was just, okay, she, okay, this is so, I didn't even, I didn't even ask her to hug me first, okay, I was just standing there, just like that, and then she comes up, and just like, does it, I'm like, what are you However, doing? However, like, Pickering <laughs> does so have weird. its downsides, according to right. Gus. Like, Ones that may seem very troublesome at times, but he assures so you, but it is no reason not to come by for a very long visit. Ah, uh, yeah, so I remember one summer... I, I took my scooter out to the store here and I, I just left it under this little roof thing behind me and I went out to buy some beef jerky and I come out and my freaking scooter is gone and I look I look out down the road and these kids they just like they just have my scooter like they're driving, driving away with it. I'm sorry, I... Gas feels very oh, strongly I, I about know. slow, small wheel transportation devices like scooters and rollerblades. Yeah, However, during the winter, there is no way to do this like, on account of the snow. So he suggests that you walk everywhere you go, even to go to great lengths ignoring the pulse, which is the name of the bus that transports one through Pickering. So, uh, one of my favorite things about Pickering has just got to be its lakefront view. I mean, would you just look at that? Look how beautiful this looks. I come and just walk down here all the time. And adding to this view is definitely uh, Pickering's nuclear power plant. That's right over there. You know, there, I just, you just look at it and just think about how much energy is just inside, just tr 
transmutating. You know what I mean? Like, imagine if something were to go wrong, we'd all, we'd all explode. Like, we'd die. Can you just imagine that? Like, that's, that's bewildering. It really, it, I look at that, and it really makes me just feel small, you know? It's so, it's big and glorious, and it just instills a sense of finality, I think. I just look at that and transcend 